I just want to do this quickly um, to explain something. Um, I had a kind of a chat conversation with one of our members today, and um, she sent me some results from her trading um, indices. Now, I don't tend to trade, let me, let me qualify that. Um, this is synthetic indices, so this VIX 75. I don't tend to trade this a lot. I'm still working on making sure I have a system that um, gives me um, some confidence and I can create some auto systems around the MT5. So that's what I'm working on now. However, um, the way strategy works on this perfectly, seamlessly as well. Um, and I just want to show you a couple of things um, on this um, with, a, with, a, with a couple of trades um, that I've had here. So we had this um, EMA 89 break to the, to the upside here, actually, to the upside here. And so I took a buy stop entry on the close of that candle. And I got filled in on that trade there, then price moved up one candle, then came all the way down, closed below there, closed another bearish bar, and I'm out, right? So that was a losing trade, small trade. By the way, I'm up. The, the, the testing I'm doing on this is real real time and it's a live account and a very small amount, 0 0.001. So that's the smallest lot size on this because I'm not after making the profit at this stage, I'm after making consistent returns. Anyway, um, that aside, then I got another opportunity. Now, you will notice I never got in on this break below here. I should have got in on the sell, but I didn't. Um, and this is what happens to most people. Um, to most of us, once we have that uh, fail there, there's a, there's a tendency to forget the rules. Because I'm meant to get in on a trade here, but I didn't. And so I get another opportunity for a buy. Or maybe I was not around here, this was yesterday. I actually put a stop loss there, so it hit the stop loss and I'm out of the trade. And so I come back in and I see another one break above. Um, and I put a a buy stop order i got filled in on that trade and similarly i also put in a stop loss at the low of that swing you see the swing there i put a stop loss there and price came it didn't quite go up it just came down took me out of the trade Again, I wasn't there and I should have gone in on this trade here, the sell entry around here. So I should have gone in on the sell entry around here, but on that candle there, break below. I should have followed the sell entry here, but I did not, I missed it. So I now have two losing trades, but I could have, if I'd taken the, the sell here, I could have had a loss here, so I'd have had three losses. But then the entry here would have still been on, right? In fact, yes. So this would have been a break and I wouldn't have been in that trade. Then I get another break here and I would have had a second sell. So two buys fail, one sell fail, but these would have been small trades. Just think about it, very small trades. Look, about $7, $8, nine, or maximum $10 loss, yeah? But if I was around and I took this sell trade here, I could have at least made, so that says 1.6 million points, which is equivalent to, in this case, it would be equivalent to, so for 16. So for 0.001, that would have been equivalent to, let's read that right, 474, 174. So that would have been at least 18 18 dollars yeah but then price came back up here it didn't close it didn't i'm still in that trade so i could have still stayed in that trade and then potentially got in, in on this pullback here can you see this reversal here that would have been a second entry for me so you can see the second entry went all the way to about 45 dollars and that first other one could have been about $50 so $90 so I would have lost about maximum $30 but now the profit is $90 I missed that so I'm out of the trade 
And so this morning or sometime during the day today, I get this break here. Can you see that? I get a break here. And then price pulled back. Give me this and pulled back. And so I put an entry around here because I missed it when it actually broke here. I came in about 15 minutes later and I saw this. And so I put in my buy stop entry there. And so you watch what price did. Filled me in on that trade. Went all the way up here. Came back down there. I was a negative there. And then it went all the way up got to this level here and i marked this level out because you can see that was a structure level and price came here and stopped came all the way down and um, i'm still in this trade i'm gonna try to ride this trade up to this point you can see where i put my take profit here now i know where my stop loss is here and where is my stop loss here my stop loss is once i get a break of the 89 ema i'm out of that trade so double break so bearish bearish i'm out and the rules are in the, mem in the members area uh, on this one um, so right now price is within that structure level so I'm not too excited about it but that's where it is but see what I've also done I've put in for myself there an alert so I put an alert here an alert to alert me if price goes above here which means I might be looking for price to do something like this watch this um, I might be looking for price to break so give me a break above here then give me a retest oh wrong one so on a retest back into this area here and then I'll be looking to maybe take an entry around here in anticipation of price doing this that is the second trade I'm looking to take there and um, but let's see if that happens it may not happen now why am I a bit confident if I go so this is the 50 minutes time frame um, if you notice what's happened here is giving me something like a V which means certainly on a, on a, a higher time frame there must be um, kind of a pullback a reversal pattern and um, so if I go to the daily time frame for instance you can see on the daily time frame here and um, this is the candle here so price is moving all the way down and comes here and gives me um, a, a reversal candle. Now, that reversal candle bounced off this trend line. So this, this swing here, then a second swing here, two of them giving me a trend line. But I can also get me, um, I've, got, I've got this, yeah, I, can, I can also get me um, another um, trend line with this swing here and that swing there so those two would have given me again a swing yeah and then <laughs> the interesting thing as well is if you follow the downward move movement and you go from there to there and just run it see where price stopped so this candle here is playing around three structure diagonal trend lines um levels um and is is not breaking breaking is is actually just piercing and, and pushing back on the daily time frame so this there must be a long wait on this so based on this i'm just gonna wait i'm just gonna even on the h4 time frame you can see gave you that it has broken up it's gone up gone up gone up um so but you're getting a constant so if we go on the H4 time frame and we do this, so I'm trying to link up those two swing points. So this swing here and that swing here, and you can see that price has broken that swing. It's come back, it's retesting it here, and that is pushing back now, which again gives me some confidence that this is going to be going up. But I don't know. I come and not. I don't have a crystal ball, but I'm ready. Yeah, yeah um so if you go back to the daily time frame so i'm ready for that i'm ready for it um, to happen um but then remember this is what people also mistake people make on the synthetic indices without realizing what see where my real stop loss will be on this down here so the question is am i willing to risk up to this place what is this worth to me in cash do you know what that is worth so I can take a stop loss here 
because price has now swung here now so there's a swing here there was a swing here yeah so all these places can be stop loss levels but so this would be if you go if you go to the swing i'm still in profit so i can lock in some profit that will just give me two dollars seventy six but i don't want to be knocked out unnecessarily from this trade um if i went here my stop loss would be worth five dollars eighty seven so look at the right hand side here so just look up here down here you can see so if i move it there you can see it is five dollars five fifty eight um uh, five dollars fifty eight um cents um, if i come down here which is where my ideal stop loss is so my risk on this trade is about 38 dollars so the question is are you open to take 38 dollars now realize this as well that is the smallest lot size i'm using here can you imagine if i was using a 0.01 this risk here will be equivalent to 380 dollars now this is why the synthetic indices is just crazy yeah until you start to get consistent trades do not scale so trade small don't scale trade small once you started to get consistency in your trading then you can start to scale yeah and if you're trading a hundred dollar account on this even where i have this my stop loss here 38 dollars that's about 38 percent of the account are you willing to do that now put it here it is not wrong it's just that i want to give price enough room to move until i get this break i'm looking for why because i'm looking for this break on the d1 time frame i gotta pull back here see when i had that reversal pattern there see how, how much price moved i want to see if i can get even if it's just up to that level hit it there i'm ready to go so don't just execute trades without thinking about things like this it is a bit advanced for some people but um do these simple things first then start to increase your your um, you know start to go advanced um, as, as you progress but that's it really <laughs> that's that's it really um testing this out let's see how how much this will go but right now you can see this trade right now is is about twelve dollars twelve dollars in profit so it is taking care of one of the losses there so i'm okay with that um so the second one you should take care of it so i mean that trade however long it takes it works over the weekend so let's see how that turns out all right so once again just keep practicing you will have losses the losses can you imagine this loss here how small it is but right now even the profit on this is is bigger than one of the losses i double that and triple it so can you see where i'm aiming to get to or even more i keep moving this i'm aiming to get here so if i'm aiming to get here the losses i had just check this the size of the losses see, see the size of the loss here <laughs> size of that loss is that which is and then the second one <laughs> so the second loss the size of it is slightly more but not a lot so we have that that loss now how many of it can you use to build where i'm targeting to get out so one two three four five five and a half one and five and a half so i could be getting to six six to one so does it matter then that i've lost trades no Yes. So you've got to, you've just got to build the muscle, your muscle of uh, being able to hold onto trades, find the right opportunities, don't take every trade and find trades that are, are, are more likely to happen in your favor and just hold it. Um, 
and um, I hope that works out for you as well. So any questions, you know how to get through to us. Um, yeah. All right. Um, until next time, you take care and let's, uh, let's speak later. Cheers.